if so, this video is for you. I'm Joga Conga from elttraining.com and if you want a useful, low prep, high output idea for your one-to-one -one lessons, then keep watching. A couple of weeks ago, I had a message from a teacher who said, I teach one-to-one -one business English online. I work with professionals living abroad who already have a very high level of English, C1, but need to fine tune. I want to use role play of business situations. For example, the student needs to give feedback to their team on a project. I've, I've tried this before, but the role play doesn't work too well because the student feels under additional pressure to perform well as their partner in the role play is the teacher and an expert. I was wondering if you have any advice on the best way to conduct a role play in this context. As with any teaching situation, there's no magic answer to this, but I do have a few thoughts for you. Role play, I think, is a brilliant way to help learners to gain confidence and useful language in exactly the kind of situations that they're going to need their English for. But it can be a bit embarrassing to act out a role, especially with your teacher. The first thing, of course, is to be as encouraging as possible. Make them feel comfortable. Rapport with your learner here is super important. But I've got three other more concrete suggestions on making this work, so here we go. Number one, remind them who they are. My first small tip to help them with, uh, with the whole I'm too embarrassed to do a role play with you because you're the teacher, is to remind them that you are not the expert at business or giving feedback. You're the language teacher, the language expert. Ask them about their context and what they would say in their language in this situation. Use their expertise and make sure they understand that they do know the content. Number two is give them a model. The second tip I have is that the good way to support your learners is to put yourself, the teacher, in the role that they need to perform at work. If they're a manager and have to give feedback to staff, then you be the manager and let them take the role of the person that they're giving feedback to. You could even tell them to be a bit argumentative or difficult to make it more interesting. What this does effectively is to give them a model. You could record the role play that you do and analyse it so you could pick out and highlight and teach them some of the useful language that you used as a manager. The next stage, of course, then is to swap roles and to do it again this time with them in the role that they would normally take, the manager's role, for example. Number three, do it all again. My final piece of advice is one that I bang on about quite often. So you may have heard me say this before. Ironically, this is quite appropriate because I believe that repetition in learning and retaining anything is incredibly helpful. When your learner's done the role play in their role, then get them to do it again. The first time you do something, you're thinking of the content. So most of your brain space is taken up with thinking about that. But the second time you do it, you've got more cognitive ability to focus on the language, that not just the content of what you're saying. Again, recording this can really help. Do the role play once, record it, play it back. You could use something to transcribe it, like Otter AI, for example. This is brilliant because it slows everything down and makes everything much more visible. You could then think about with the learner how to improve it linguistically and maybe content-wise, and then do it again, and possibly even again, maybe in the next lesson as a recap. So that's it. I hope that these ideas help you with your one-to-one -one learners, whatever their context is. 
and thanks for watching. Bye bye.